of Beach Follies last night. <laughs> If you ever get the chance to come here and stay there, I would definitely recommend it. It's definitely more an experience. It's not like luxury, but... It's a beach volley. Yeah. It's a beach volley. <laughs> Just making sure you know what a beach volley means. There's no walls. There are walls. Well, there's half walls. And then it's all open above that, all windows open. But you can close the windows with like mats, fine mats that they have as like lines kind of. It's a little primitive, but it's definitely an amazing experience and I highly recommend trying it at least once in your life if you get the chance. A few tips if you ever stay in a beach folly. The mosquito net worked great, but it doesn't let in as much wind. So if you are hot and you are able to, because I brought the car over on the ferry, I brought one of our fans from home and plugged that in. Also, there is one plug and a light in there, so we brought an extension cord and a power strip but because we needed to charge multiple batteries overnight to be prepared for the day. So we left our windows open all night so you get more of a breeze. It does let a little bit of rain in if you do that, so want to keep your stuff away from the sides or closed up well or something. If you can, push it under the bed. Little piggy don't care. So the shower, it's kind of communal, I guess. There's guys and girls. And there's one toilet and one shower. And at this one, there is no curtain or anything. So there's a rod. So I would hang my towel over that to be kind of like a curtain. Thank you.